When I was in school, a friend of mine borrowed my notebook to catch up with some of the classes he had missed and not to my knowledge copied one of the essays that I had written. He then used it for an essay competition which he ended up winning. When I got to know, I felt cheated. I was very upset and felt that this was sheer stealing. Another time, a PhD student told me that her professor took her research paper and published it in his name. People working in the corporate world have told me that they found the reports they laboriously made stolen by their colleagues for their personal gain. Authors have often complained of plagiarism as well. And surely, whichever area of work it may be, we should deal with people who have such a corrupt, distorted mindset. At the same time, we should also remember that what we possess is way beyond an essay, way beyond a research paper or a report. A bird once asked a honeybee, you work so hard, you toil so much, you put so much effort and energy to make and store honey and then a man comes and steals it. Do you not feel sad? The honeybee gave a fantastic reply. Yes, I do feel sad at that moment. But then I remind myself that the only thing a man can steal from me is my honey. He can never steal the art of making honey that I possess. Again, we certainly need to deal with such cheating in a practical way. But we also need to be aware that people can at best copy our creation, not our creativity. They can at best steal our technique, not our talent. They can imitate what we do, but cannot take away our ability to inspire. Which is why I say, focus on and grow that which no one can steal and let everything else simply be a manifest result of it.